Today we're doing a 20 minute postpartum cardio sweat and dumbbell strength workout. For the first cardio section, the exercises are gonna be back to back. If it takes you a couple extra seconds to get into the move, don't worry about it, but we wanna keep our heart rate up. For the second part of the workout, I'm gonna use light dumbbells. I'm gonna use five pounds, but use a weight that feels good for you. If you don't have weights, you could also just grab water bottles or cans of beans. We'll start warming up before I set the timer. We can start with arms swimming back. Keeping your core strong throughout the entire workout, thinking of every move as a core exercise. Good, let's come forward. Good, you can lunge side to side. Let's take our arms out to the side and you can either reach for your knee or your ankle. Really shooting your hips back here. Last one here. Good, let's warm up our hamstrings. We can take our right leg up, kicking our glute. Good, let's hold it up, circle your ankle. Going both ways. Good, other side. Circle your ankle. Other way. Good, let's circle your right knee around. Exhale, engage your core as you bring your knee up. Other side. Last one. Good, and now I'll set the timer for 45 seconds each move. We're going to squat down, exhale as you come up, and punch, sitting nice and low. Squat down, heel tap. Activate your inner thigh, your adductors.
Start with your hands up, exhale, hands come down as knee comes up. Core stays engaged. We're gonna do big steps to the side. Moving into your lunge, a triple pulse, exhale knee up. Get that back knee nice and low to the ground. Get ready for the other side. So we can do low impact or if high impact is safe for you, you could add a small jump. Arms are strong. For advanced, you could also go all the way down to the ground, making sure you're not rounding out through your lower back at all. Really focusing on your core here.
You can reach up, coming up on your toes, and then come down, or for advanced, come all the way down. We have a water break after this. Keep going. Amazing job. Let's grab a sip of water. While you're having a quick sip of water, I wanted to share something that I'm really proud of. I get a lot of questions about how I healed and flattened my core after my third pregnancy. And to be honest, after my first and second uh, pregnancies, I did not heal my core very well. I was doing lots of intense HIIT workouts and exercises that were actually making my core worse. And I ended up with a four finger diastasis recti gap. So a year after I had my second baby, I still looked like I was five months pregnant. Between baby two and baby three, my dad got early onset Alzheimer's. We moved across the country and I had some time to think about what I really wanted to do with my life. By the time baby number three had rolled around, I had developed a really effective system for core healing and flattening. You get a new unique 10 minute video every day that progressively and effectively heals your core and pelvic floor. I will link to it in the description box below as well as the QR code right there I've also included meal plans that I put together as a registered dietitian to optimize tissue repair, increase breast milk supply, and to support postpartum weight loss. We can grab our dumbbells or water bottles now, feet wide, slow lateral lunge with lateral lift. Really sitting back into the hip. Bring our feet in a little bit, turning your feet out. We're gonna hold our arms up, re-engaging your core, slow sumo. Get a feeling of dragging your feet together to activate your adductors. Let's step our feet together. We can lift our right knee up. Wide bicep curl. You could also add a pelvic floor contraction for an extra challenge. Exhale, lift on the way up. Release your pelvic floor down. Switch to the other side. Lift. We're gonna do alternating curtsy lunge. And now we can bicep curl forward.
making sure that we have lots of length in your lower back, not rounding out at all. Squeeze your triceps at the top, upper arm is very steady. Shoulder blades are gonna to squeeze together, re-engaging your core. Elbows come in nice and tight. Finding a nice lunge position. Knee is going to come nice and close to the ground. Amazing, switching to the other side. Setting up, exhale as you lift. Amazing, shake it out. We can place our weights down. Let's lunge back and forth. Really dropping through your groin here. Take a deep breath. We can stretch out our quad. Lining your knees up. Pressing your foot into your hand. So if you turn it to your left hand side, bring your right foot back, stretching through your right calf, 
your heel reaches down towards the ground. And then shifting forward slightly, let's tuck our tailbone under for a nice hip flexor or psoas stretch. You can stretch over to the side. Exhale, engage your core to come up. Shifting your weight to your back foot, let's stretch out through our hamstring, digging your heel into the ground. Good, we can do that on the other side, turning to your right, left heel presses down. Now tucking our tailbone again. Nice side stretch. Exhale, engage your core to come up. Switching him to hamstring stretch. Finding length in your lower back. release. Let's clasp either your elbows or your hands, opening up through your chest, keeping your ribs pulled in and down to protect your core, rounding out the other way. Good, and some slow neck circles. Going the other way. You did amazing and I hope your body is feeling great after that workout. If there's something that you've been working hard on and you're really proud of, I would love for you to share with me and our community in the comments below. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.